Welcome back. This is the video tutorial on how to close completed jobs for MCIS language solutions on the new interpreter vendor portal, Interpreter Intelligence. As always, the first thing we need to do is visit the website mcis.interpreterintelligence.com. Once there, use your existing interpretation credentials to log in. On your dashboard, scroll down towards the bottom to see your completed jobs that need to be closed in this section here. Past jobs to be closed. There's an additional section here that says missing document. We'll go over this section later. I really shouldn't have this many jobs outstanding. All jobs really should be closed ASAP. Technically, jobs should be closed on your phone before you leave the service provider, but in certain circumstances, you're not able to do so, so you must wait till you get home to close on your computer. So let's now try to close this job. Before we go to the Close button, use this menu and check the Incidentals tab. You will notice that there is a mileage incidental that is previously approved. We can leave this alone as we don't need to add receipts for mileage incidentals. It is normally only parking. There is an add incidental button here. As I've mentioned in the telephone closing jobs tutorial, do not use this button as it will cause issues with the finance department as all incidentals should be pre-approved by MCIS and added by MCIS. So we're going to cancel this window. Let's go back to this menu and click on the Close button. You can use these options above to see the job in more detail. Otherwise, click on the Close button and you'll be taken to the Close Job interface. The first slot is Arrival Time and Date. You normally don't need to change this at all. It is entered by default and it simply indicates when you've arrived on scene. What is important is the next section called Start Time, Start Date. This indicates when you will start being paid for the job that you attended. Normally, this doesn't need to change either unless you were late for the job or you arrived early and the job started early. The end time is the default end time according to the minimum booking. If this is different, you may change the end time here. If it's more, you'll be paid more accordingly. If it's less, you will still be paid the minimum booking time, which is normally two hours. Let's say here that the job ended at 4.22 p.m. Please note that for all message relay type jobs for MCIS, the jobs once completed should be closed with a 60 minute duration. This way, the finance department can process your payment properly. When you close jobs on your computer, the default end time for each job is already pre-populated into the end time field. And for all MR jobs, this is already set to 60 minutes. Please do not make changes to the end time field when closing message relay time jobs. Otherwise, it may result in a delay in payment to you. VOS is verification of service. The verification of service form must be uploaded for every completed job. When you close a job on your phone, you simply do everything digitally and have a digital signature. Closing a job on the computer requires you to actually print a form, take it to the job and have a service provider authorize and sign it. Click on the browse button to upload the document where you can upload the completed VOS form for this job. It is normally a completed PDF form. Let's find the form here choose the correct file, click on open, and you'll see the file is slotted here. It's not uploaded yet, but when you click the next button, it will be uploaded properly. If you don't have this VOS form, you can click on this button here to submit the paperwork later. We'll see a demonstration of this at a later example. Again, do not use the add incidental button and don't even use the add document button. This feature is not working properly and not supported by MCIS. 
you will see the full details summary here of your job status, including the amount that you will be paid for service and incidentals. You must place your initials here to indicate that you have read and agreed to the disclaimer. Once you have typed in your initials, click on the Agree button. Once it is clicked, you will notice that the shading is slightly darker than before. If you don't do this, it will not allow you to close the job. So click on Confirm and Close. You will get a notification that the job is closed. You can close the window. You will see that the job is properly closed here. Let's try to close another job now and see some more examples of what you might have to do. 13701. Notice here under incidentals that there is parking and mileage. Parking does require a receipt. The amount indicated under parking is the maximum allowed amount. You will be paid according to the amount on your receipt up to this number. This is the maximum. Click on the plus sign here and find the parking receipt on your computer. Click on open. Click on the button upload file. You will see that the receipt is there now. You may delete it using the minus button. You can add another receipt, but generally not recommended. Or you can click on this file to view it. Click on OK. Now that the incidentals have been taken care of, we can now close. On the close screen, you will notice that the file is there under the parking receipt. Don't try to delete or add receipts on this window. Again, it is not working properly. If you wish to modify the incidentals, cancel the close screen and modify the incidentals. Then come back to the close screen. Again, verify the start and end time. Let's assume this actually ended at 6:30. Let's put in the time here, 6:30 p.m. In this example, we'll see what happens if you don't attach a verification of service form and try to close the job. If you click on the next button. Without uploading a file here, you will get a warning menu that the VOS form is required. If you don't have it for some reason, click on paperwork to be submitted later. You will now see a warning that payment may be delayed if you don't submit it on time, but it will at least allow you to proceed ahead. My suggestion is to do it ASAP. Click on the next button. You are now taken to the next screen. You will see payment details as before. One hour standard, one hour premium. Notice that even though we put 6:30, you are still paid for the full hour for the second hour, as that is the minimum booked time. Parking again says 25, but it will be adjusted according to your receipt, up to 25 dollars max. And there's a mileage payment as well. So. If we do not enter initials here or click on Agree and try to confirm the job, you will notice that there is another error screen. So you must click on the Agree button as well. Notice the shade is darker. Confirm and close. Close this menu or close this screen using the X or the Cancel button. Now, closed jobs are displayed here. Anytime you close a job. Without uploading the VOS form, that job should move to the missing document to be uploaded section. Sometimes the job does not move to that section automatically. This is the one we just closed. What you may have to do is refresh the screen for the interface to update. If you still see it in the above section, it's incorrect. Simply refresh the page by pressing F5 on most browsers, or use the refresh page or reload page button here. You will notice that the Job now moves to the missing document section. Technically, closed jobs should not even display, but this whole section displays closed jobs that are missing the VOS form. Use the button here and use the Add VOS button. Don't click on the VOS form button, as this actually downloads a blank copy of the form. This should have been done when the job was confirmed. You should have done this, printed a form, and bring it to the job with you. Click Add VOS to add the finished VOS form. Click on Browse, find the proper file, open Upload File.、Uh, you will notice that that job immediately disappears as it has now been properly closed.
we can also refresh the page to make sure that everything is proper and you will see that indeed that job has disappeared from your dashboard. Any jobs that are closed properly should disappear from your dashboard. Lastly, we're going to see what to do with jobs that are cancelled on arrival. This is when the job did not happen, but you still attended the booking. In this case, you notice that this job has no pre-approved incidentals, nothing to do there. We can proceed to close it. From here, cancel jobs, you don't need to modify time. Click on job cancelled. This check mark here in this checkbox, there are only two reasons you may choose. Other cancellation reasons, such as jobs being cancelled before you attend the job, MCIS will cancel it for you. Certain cancellation statuses are paid and certain ones are not. The two reasons displayed here are always paid. Let's say in this case a service provider no show. Although the service provider did not show up, you still need to upload a VOS form. You there is a note section here where you may enter the reasons why the job was cancelled. For example, you can put that you waited 30 minutes, called MCIS, and you were authorized to leave the job site by MCIS. If you don't upload the VOS form and try to go to next, you'll get the error. In the case that the clients don't show up, you can still have the service provider sign an authorized VOS form. If it's SP no-show, you're authorized to sign the VOS form on their behalf, but you must still submit the proper VOS form. Click on Next. You will see that you're still paid the full fees of the job. Initial here as always. Click on the Agree button and click on Confirm and Close Job. And now the job is closed properly. You will see the job status now is cancelled, but it is closed properly. You will still be paid. If you refresh the screen right now, you will see that that job will disappear from your dashboard, indicating that it is closed properly. The above has been the video tutorial on how to close jobs completed with MCIS Language Solutions on the Interpreter Vendor Portal, Interpreter Intelligence.